What's up YouTube? Mike from Mass here. Mass Aquariums bringing you a little Sunday morning fragriculture video, if you will. If you want to know what fragriculture is, it's uh, my buddy Jordan Watkins and his business partner have a Facebook site that they auction off some sweet, sweet corals. Um, they have some, I think they have auctions a couple times a week, but the corals that Jordan has sent me have all been absolutely amazing. There's actually quite a bit of coral in this tank that he's given me over the years that has really just like spread like crazy, like these pallies uh, right below the bird's nest. I mean, they take up, they just go, they go on forever. And he gave me like two of these and as you can see, they took off. Um, he's given me these two Montes up here. I don't know if that ones that might be it. No, yeah, I think they're specific type of spongeoid Montes or whatever. I'm not quite sure. I never can remember the names of these. Uh, he just recently sent me this Recordia mushroom, which is beautiful. Um, I got uh, some Zoas here that are about to open up. There's a couple other things in this tank he's given me too. But Fragriculture is a great site. What I'm really excited about that actually it moved that I'm bummed now because now you can't see it. It wasn't this, but that's the way it goes with corals, moving corals especially. Um, is this bubble tip anemone? It is absolutely gorgeous. You should see this thing under blues. It's red with like blue speckles. But he sent me one, maybe about the size of a golf ball, a little bigger, and I had put it over here and it dug its foot right down in there and who maybe that shrimp kicked it out but dug its foot right down in there it looked absolutely gorgeous i go to bed the next night the next morning not only did it move to a new home where it's in the back of the tank but it split overnight into two so now i have two beautiful bubble tip anemones that you can't see huh figure so my only hope is that they move again, or maybe, I don't want to really like blast them with the power head, excuse me, blast them with the power head and get them off the rock and try to move them someplace else and hopefully they stay, but it's looking like that's where they're going to stay. Um, they are really, really pretty though. Gorgeous species. It's too bad this rock wasn't faced the other way because that would be really cool the way they're like that on the rock if it was facing the front of the tank. But that's it for this little fragriculture update. I just wanted to let you guys know to go check that site out. I'll post a link down below to the fragriculture Facebook site because it's a really, really cool site and I love getting, uh, being able to uh, bid on corals and see other people bid and you know if you really want it you can grab it you can sometimes get them for really cheap but it's a it's a great site I'll give you a little, gotta make those my aquarium boxes don't forget folks sign up this tank is doing amazing 10 gallon nano hang on back filter and that's it a little circulation pump small 325 gallons per hour and I couldn't ask for better. This tank will be just about three years old coming up, I'm pretty sure. And you can run a successful nano reef, folks. It doesn't take a lot of effort. Just be patient to get it dialed in. Due diligent, good husbandry. Water change every, I don't know, 10, probably 10 days now, 10 to 14 days. Top off, no auto top off. I just got a little thing of RO here and every couple mornings I just dump half of it in and top it off and good to go. This plate coral is absolutely gorgeous. I love this thing. But that's it. Two tanks. My tank upstairs lights don't come on till the night time and wanted to get you guys just a little update and show you the bubble tip from Jordan Watkins that has split so that's it folks go get yourself in my aquarium box get some great things coming to you soon come out